where you see like Caleb Dressel or Michael Phelps, like you think we've always been just great. We've just always been world record holders, Olympic gold medals. That's not the case. In my case, I had to work to where I'm at. I had to bust my ass every day, day in, day out, every day, daily basis, um, just grinding to get to where I'm at because I had goals. I had a long-term goal that I wanted to reach. Um, so I was, I would, I would get lapped in practice by my like, girls all the time. They would whoop my butt, like, and I wasn't always the fastest. I had to get to where I'm at. One thing that I was so good at was I know how to deal with pain. Like I could go, we call it like the bottom of the well. Like meaning, I could drain everything in my body and still keep going because I just train my body. There. I can out train anyone. But I I started out not that good. I wasn't that great swimmer. That um, I kind of got to be later on in life. I had to work at it. So that's what I really want you guys to um, understand. And growing up, I swam in the Michael Phelps era. So I was always coming in second, second, third. Um, I mean, I was swimming against the world's greatest swimmer in the world. Um, but I was still hungry. I was still motivated. I kept on going back to those three things that I said. Swimming was still fun for me. So with swimming being fun, I was still enjoying even though I was getting second and third, getting my butt kicked, I was still loving swimming. So I was always having fun. And then my second one was setting short-term, long-term goals. So I was still having all these goals that I had to accomplish. And I knew if I took off a swim practice or I took a season off, I'd fall short from that goal. Like, and I don't want to be the person to say, what if? Well, what if I went to this practice? Would I gotten this much better? Like, I never wanted to say, what if? So, I always had that long-term goal, so I always had a purpose of going to the swimming pool. So, when I did, like, break the world record and got that gold medal, I was on top of the world. I always, then, after that, put myself back down to the bottom. No matter what, even if the rest of the world thought, like, oh, you're the greatest swimmer right now. To me, I was at the bottom because I had to work my way to get back up to the top. And I think that's my mindset on how I became, how I was able to swim for so long. Um, 37 right now, I'm still swimming. 